The Kitty State PDP governorship primary election may have come and gone, uh, but the controversies remain mercy. Um, indeed, uh, both parties and both sides of uh, the same party, rather, are still um, in in difficulties and, uh, of course, the controversial issues, especially coming from Shegoni, who is um, uh, the um, who is the leading contender who didn't win, you know, those who came out and lost the primary election. Um, and he's been, he's been singing and shouting and saying a lot of things regarding that uh, convention. Well, the Kiji State primaries uh, may have come and gone, but the controversial issues remain that defeated aspirant Chief Shegoni um, and the former state governor, Chief Shegoni, has accused the former governor, another former governor of Kiji State, Ayodele Fayeshe, of selling out the party's candidates to the All Progressives uh, Congress. Oni has also accused the PDP National Working Committee, led by Iochea Ayu, um, of hurriedly ratifying the outcome of the governorship primary election, uh, which he alleged was conducted in a shoddy and abysmal manner. In his words, um, Bisikola Wale is the APC's candidate duplicate copy. So he's calling the winner of that PDP primary, who was his opponent in the primary, uh, the APC candidate's duplicate copy. However, Fireshay's media aide, Larry Olayanka, um, has dismissed the allegations saying Shegoni is basically on his own as far as the PDP is concerned. We'd like to find out what the future holds for the People's Democratic Party in AKT State. That's what we're out here for to find out what the future holds uh, for the People's Democratic Party in AKT State. We have joined us um, Yemi Alanka, who is a chieftain of the People's Democratic Party in that state. Mr. Alanka, good morning to you and thanks uh, for joining us. Good morning. Thank you, Nigeria. Thank you for having me. Um, um, is is Shegoni on his own as far as the PDP in AKT State is concerned? As uh, said Where? by yeah, as said by the spokesman for um, uh, BC Kolaole. Yeah, well, Larry is free to I mean uh, say whatever he likes. I mean, uh, it is a free word. Uh, there is no limitation to anybody to say whatever he likes. But whether or not time will tell. I mean, you know that um, in the, the state today, everybody knows and are aware that uh, Engina Shegoni is a candidate to beat. And if you say that uh, Shagun is on his own, okay, let's wait and see. Time will tell. But I can assure you, by the time they get results, they will know the scores. When, when you say by the time they get results, what do you mean, sir? What I mean is that, um, well, there are other, other plans like on the ground, as I'm talking to you, there's so many plans uh, going on within the um, uh, our camp. And uh, I believe so strongly that... Um, you know, by the time we, we come up with our plans and um, what we tend to do, uh, let us see whether or whether <laughs> it is possible for them to see uh, Chegwin is on his own. But I can assure you that uh, everything is on course. Um, um, I mean, the primaries have held the, the People's Democratic Party national leadership has uh, ratified the outcome of that primary. You know, every party has its internal rules and um, processes, and once the party ratifies it, that's done. So, I mean, yeah. isn't Shegoni already fighting a lost, a lost battle, a lost cause? Yeah. Let me say this and make it clear to Nigerians. It's unfortunate we have laid uh, a democracy setting on a bad footing in our country. Uh, and I pray that the younger ones will not meet this absurdity this, this theater of absurdity that happens everywhere when it comes to primary and when it comes to election in Nigeria. It was a planned, well orchestrated rigging that took place in Ekiti on the 26th of January at the primary. Well planned, supported by the national. It's unfortunate we find ourselves in this situation. It's unfortunate that uh, Yosha that would believe and do the right thing is saying that. Uh, that, that primary was okay. It, it's so unfortunate. But I tell you, they are all acting a script that I've been written. A script written in favor of the candidate of the APC. But, really? Ekiti are wiser. Ekiti are smarter. And we're going to see exactly the reaction of Ekiti people when the election comes. How, how, how is this a script, you know, written in favor of the candidate of the APC? I mean, you have... Okay, the let, the, let, are, you, are you saying the entire people... Okay, yes, go on, please. Let, let, let me say something to you. There, is a, there, is a, there was a celebration at that night that because 
Shegoni lost. That was the pattern at the government house in the Kiti State. I want anybody to prove me wrong. They jubilated at the APC camp. They had they threw a party. They drank. They almost finished all the beers in all the all the all the all the beer parlors in in Adukiti on that night. That yes, we are happy that uh, Shegoni lost. The only person they know that they want to beat uh, that is there that people love the artisan, the the, the civil servant, uh, the teachers. Everybody loves Shegoni, and they wanted him back. And we told them at the national, don't throw away PDP. Don't let this uh, election go away. I think you should have more people that will be governors in PDP than, uh, than uh, that, uh, that, uh, that I can help you. And that's exactly what we told them. But they refused. So they planned it. In fact, if you look at what happened at the primary, you'll be shocked. I'm sure you must have seen some of the footages and all that, you know. I mean, how can they be voting and they'll be showing to a particular candidate? And they, 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 they'll, they'll vote unless they show it to an, another candidate before they move. And the, 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 the chairman of uh, the electoral committee was there looking at everybody. And if anybody says anything, he will fight you. He will ask the police to, to, to remove you from the hall. So that's why I said it was a well-planned, orchestrated move by uh, the APC uh, by the PDB to favor the APC. And that night, apart from the fact that uh, they threw a party, uh, Ayodele Fauci was at the, was at the state house, was with uh, Fire Me. They were there together that night, drinking. That, yes, they, we, we won the battle. We finished Egoni, but let us see who the people want. You know, it's just a matter of time. So another issue that was raised is the issue of result sheets given to electoral officers, you know, the night before the primary elections. Can you, um, you know, help us describe and tell us how that happened? That wasn't that wasn't the uh, but that wasn't the PDP. That that's the issue of the a APC. That they are the one that has that those issue of the distribution of electoral material the night before. Uh, as you know, was I mean, we didn't have. Um, the kind of primary they had. They had the direct primary at the APC. We had an indirect primary. I mean, the, it's a delegate election. So um, we were all there. So it wasn't us that complained of that, you know. It was uh, the APC. And I cannot speak for the APC. I can only talk about the P uh, PDP3. So, but another issue again is the fact that uh, Governor Fayoshi has been accused of betrayal, betraying, uh, you know, the People's Democratic Party. Uh, can you can you also tell us what that means or what kind of betrayal we're looking at now? You can tell Nigerians how the Fauci is a trader. He can trade anybody off as long as money comes. That's the kind of person he is. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He told me. I mean, someone told me that he actually mentioned to you that in as much as you know that Shegun is the best candidate, why don't you allow your candidate to support Shegun so that you can win the election? He said he doesn't care. He must have satisfied his own conscience. That is absurd. That is evil to the party you believe that uh, you have a, a strong support for. How can you say that? You know, it shows that uh, man, you don't, someone that doesn't care, as long as uh, you're able to fulfill your, I mean, your, 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 your satisfy yourself and you don't care what, what happened to the party. It's unfortunate. And that is evil. Okay, um, I mean, you, 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 I'm, still, I'm still trying to understand how this emergence can be uh, a script being played out in support uh, of the APC um, in Ekiti State. Um, it's it's quite well documented the rivalry between. Sorry, sorry, Mister Yemi. Yeah, yeah, like it's the, the, the rivalry between uh, um, uh, Fai Mi and Fai She um, is, is is well documented. You know, there's no love lost between there both. No, there's no rivalry between them lately. You can, you can see you can, you can see the two of them. Jolly, you see them in the photograph together, even on the night of the primary at the government house. And you see the kind of greeting, the way they embrace. I will tell you, there is no rivalry at all. Uh, uh, but, 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 sir, sir I'm, I'm, I'm looking at a copy of that, that, that photograph. Politicians can meet anywhere. Even those who have the fiercest rivalry in, in the public, yeah. they, they, can, they can just keep a, a sort of a, um, a, a formal and official pose. Um, Fire didn't go to see Fai Mi alone. He went there in the company of um, um, Badaru and Emmanuel, Dom Emmanuel, governor of uh, Akwaibom State, who was a returning officer uh, for the PDP at that state governorship primary. And and they, they, yes, so so they, they just basically that was, that was even an enough evidence. 
and enough evidence to show that it was a, an orchestrated plan. So, so it for is the primary to go both ways. So it what, is. What, 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 what is the PDP um, um, former governor doing in the government house at the night of a primary? So it, what is the chairman of uh, an electoral committee? Yes, the, the chairman being that the governor of another state. I mean, maybe a same place country with the governor of of, uh, of the whole state. That is understandable. But for all of them to throw a party to drink together, the only the only picture you saw was the picture that that was shown outside. They didn't allow people inside. There was a party inside the government house. Then you asked a question earlier. How would you say that? Okay. That, uh, that something was orchestrated to favor the APC. The moment you carry a candidate that is not acceptable to the general of equity people, definitely you are saying APC should win. Mind you, currently the 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 the, the, the governor of equity state is from APC. The national that uh, that uh, the, this country that controls every apparatus of government is APC. To beat such a government in any state, you need a candidate that is well acceptable by everybody. Maybe so like the only thing. Maybe so like uh, I, 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 a lesser candidate is as good as gone. Okay, we'll come to that. But Mr. Like, are you saying that um, Udomi Manu, governor of Akwaibom State, is also working for the APC? It, it, they work in consonance with a, an orchestrated plan to ensure that they carry a lesser candidate. That's the candidate of Ayodele Fauci, a candidate that is not well or uh, generally acceptable to the generality of Ekiti people. That's exactly what we're saying. All, all, to, all to, to make sure that the APC wins. That's all. That, that's no other thing. That, that, that's, the, that's the script. Wow. That's wow. all. When wow. you carry a lesser candidate, definitely APC will have an upper hand. They are but, the one controlling the state. But, but, but from what but I can... In the situation where you have the likes of uh, Adebayo Lucia Goni that has ruled the state before, and when loved by the people, you can find out by yourself or ask your correspondent to find out in the Kitty State who is generally acceptable to the people of the Kitty State. They will tell you, give us your Goni. Everybody start, uh, start shouting, give us your Goni, give us your Goni. Okay, okay, and so, so we don't so, want so, your Goni. So, so let, let's, let's come to the matter of the popularity of uh, BC, Kolawole, and Shegoni. Yeah. Um, of course, you had the likes of um, the, the female senator. Um, who also um, uh, pulled out and, 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 and all this. Um, uh, uh, some would argue that, that, and I'm sure if Larry Olayinka would say, he would say, he would say the same thing, that um, popularity is not by mouth, it's not by what people say on the streets. You have to win the delegates over. And if the delegates are not on your side and don't vote you, even if you're popular outside, you cannot win. Those are the rules, and you play by the rules. Um, so what do you say to that? Because you're saying that Oni is on the mouths of or lips of a lot of people in Nikiti State. They love him. They want him. He's popular. Fine. If that could be the case. But did the delegates vote him? Well, let, 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 let's, let's talk about the delegates. Unfortunately, before Oni returned to the PDP, uh, the delegates has been, they are there. The executives have been selected by your daily file so the answer to Ayodele Faoche, there's no doubt in that fact. If you remember, uh, Senator Olujimi that you just mentioned is in court regarding this, the, the, the executive that voted at the primary. They are still in court. And the woman said, she withdrew at the last minute and said that, uh, that the, the primary election is illegal. That the people voting at that primary election is illegal. In fact, it's even a contention. By the time you get to court, I mean, you are just walking straight to the answer for the, for the APC. If eventually Senator Olujimi-led uh, uh, group wins at uh, the court, that means whoever wins the election of the case under the PDP is a, it's a non avoid thing. That, is, that, 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 that means that the APC will just walk into the government and be there. And Olu Jimmy has not withdrawn the case in the court. Even though the party has instructed her to withdraw the cases in the court. They are sitting in the court. If they eventually win in the court, that means whoever becomes the governor of a criticism under PDP is a non avoid thing. Well, 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 well that, that's, that, that's a probability. Um, it could also turn out that, that they could also lose. Um, but before Messi comes in, um, um, so, so you said, you're giving us a history, uh, Mr. Yemi Olayinka, and you were saying that um, uh, Shigoni has been... 
uh, crisscrossing carpets, crossing carpets, PDP to APC, APC to PDP. And so he left the party, and by the time he came back, uh, the delegates were loyal to Ayodele mm -hmm. Fayoshe. But some would argue that's politics for you. Yeah. Politics for you. Maybe he should have gone yes. to Fayoshe to say, Fayoshe, I come in peace. Um, let's have a pact. Let's have an agreement. I will work with you. Let's work together. You know, it, it, it's the way it is. And it's on record, Fayoshe has said, you can't eat where he didn't sow. That's what he said. You cannot eat where he did not sow. So it, it's a sort of a mm. proverb to say, well, you, you'll come back, but we've been planting, we've been working here, we've been trying to hold the party down. Uh, Fayoshe has been holding PDP down, even in Nigeria, um, when he was governor, mm. he, we see what he did to Buhari, and after he left and all that. So, I mean, is there anything wrong if, if he's been able to take hold of the structures? That's politics, that's what everyone wants to do. I'm sure if Shegoni has his way, he would be in Fayoshe's position to control the structures of the party. So what do you say to that? If, if, if he has allowed a free and fair primary without intimidation, without uh, cohesion, then maybe we'll have been saying a different ball game. If that's part of father, he uh, is the one that put the executive there, and majority of the delegates are in the in his favor, but you still find out that um, Shekwon is loved by everybody. Even those that voted, apart from the inducement, I may not want to go into that here on, on, on national air, apart from the inducement, the kind of inducement that, that, that went on on that day, you know, which is absurd, which is, which is evil, which is wrong, which should not be acceptable to the generality of Nigeria. And I think the youth should come out to say no to such a thing. But that was exactly what happened. People were, 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 were induced greatly. A lot of gratification went on. That's part of the fact that Fauci knew that, okay, this executive have put them there. If he didn't do what he did, I'm telling you, we will have beat him hands down because people love Shegoni. That is the truth. Okay, so... Um, and when Shegoni came back to the party, when, when he came back to the party, it's not because he wants to face cross or whatever. If it's people are on his neck. When you don't answer to the call of your people, it falls back on you. People are on his neck. We love you. You have done well with us when you were here. We want you back. And unfortunately, at APC, it was it was it was uh, it was uh, rejected, and that was planned by the current governor in APC. That's why me, why me instructed that Shegoni should be expelled from his word. Shegoni is not the kind of a man that gets involved in all these dirty things, bribe people, give people money for no. He's not that kind of person. He's a distant person. He's a classy person. A well-behaved person. Well-nurtured. well too tall. Classy. Okay, and so... That's the thing. So let's also talk about the fact that some persons are disgruntled uh, in the party, the likes of Femi Bamishile, who vows to challenge, uh, you know, the Ekiti governorship primary elections and courts. Where does this leave you ahead of the uh, elections proper, especially when you have the opposition? Tommy uh, Bamishile is in APC, and uh, the APC are, are not happy with what happened in their fold. We have a lot of uh, very, very uh, prominent people that contested at their own primary too. Uh, many of them are saying they're going to court, including uh, MOB, that's uh, Michael Opayemi Bamidele, who is a senator. Who is the chairman of the committee on judiciary? He has vowed to challenge uh, the primary uh, at the court, and the uh, has promised that. So that is the affair of the APC. Well, they're going to court. They want to go to court. I mean, uh, it's not depend on what the court is going to say. So, but, but uh, looking at all of the issues that's going on now, where does this leave the People's Democratic Party with the elections? Come uh, danger, danger, losing, losing the case say completely at the election. Mark my words. I'll be back here to tell you, to remind you. So, so, it, so there's no tendency that, you know, the internal mechanisms of the party can actually can help in resolving the you issues before the elections. And the public can come behind me and say that should, and, and pet me. They say, you're bad. They say, oh, they, oh, they, oh, they. Oh, they don't you to me bang back walk with me see coral. That's a Yoruba idea that says you can't you can't disgrace me in the public and come behind me and say oh, and pet me. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. It doesn't. It can work. In this way, it won't work. And I can assure you it won't work. And that's why I said, okay, a lot of plants are going on the ground. 
And by the time we unfold what is going to happen in the next few days, we know that uh, we mean business. We want to change the narrative. We want to tell people that you know, our, our daily power cannot constitute himself as God of policy in the state. Pioneer cannot constitute himself as God of policy in the state. The people are ready for liberation, and we will liberate them. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Just wait another few days. We unfold our plans. Uh, uh, Mr. Lanka, um between, between um, Chief Shegoni and uh, Ayo Dele yeah. Fayeche, who, who is more popular in the United States? Since you've been giving us a uh, bit there of popularity. Is no, there, is no there is no basis of comparison between Shegoni no. and Ayo Dele Popularity, Ayo popularity now. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm saying. There's no basis of comparison. That's the truth. From the local people. You have your correspondent in the United States. Ask them questions. I'm not just making mouths. But the truth is, Shagun is far, far above them. There's that is, that is a culture. There is a kitty tradition that is not in your daily power. It's not in him. And whatever you don't have, you can be. He's, what, he's, 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 he's won election twice in the Kitty State. Yes, he has. Yeah. You don't, you don't win elections I'm two not, times I'm if not, you're not popular. I'm not saying no to that. He has won election twice in the Kitty State because he has the opportunity. Good enough. But I'm telling you categorically, Shagun is more popular. And that's why both APC and PDP are saying, please, we don't want, don't allow this man to win or no, ensure that he doesn't win because they know it's a problem. For you to see check on his name, everybody find out the civil servants are calling for him, the artisans are calling for him, the market women are calling for him, give us check on him. Why? He's a gentleman to the core. He has the, the culture of what he called the critic culture in him. So, so it, Which it, is basically so, so decency. It, so, I mean, if that's the case, we're just having, you know, a logical conversation now. If he has such yeah. popularity, would it be okay mm. if he's dissatisfied with what's going on in his party and he decides to decamp to another party and then contest the elections? Do you see him, you know, um, making any kind I've of progress? Just, you know, I've just, don't let the cat out of the bag yet. <laughs> I've just told you there are a lot of plans going on. Just keep a few days and you see exactly what the uh, plan is going to be like. Just those few days, and then, then you see, you, we unfold our plans to you. So you're saying that there's a possibility that he might just decamp oh, you know, well, to another well, party? Well, okay. There's nothing wrong. What's wrong in that? We want to liberate it with people. It's a possibility. Hmm. It, it, isn't that the problem right there? If, if Oni had stayed where he was before, um, the, the, was the, the chances or had, had stayed with the, with the, the, with the PDP, the chances where are that... Was humiliated, he remain in APC where he was humiliated, and PDP now is doing the same thing to him. Because Maybe. somebody somewhere does not want his face, and just, he's clearly enmity between himself and Shegoni. Just, just, just maybe he would have his, the structures of the party, um, having stayed there all these years for now. You know, uh, by now, um, like Fayoshe, who's been this way for uh, forever, and uh, Fayemi, who's been the other way forever, um, being a one-time a one-time governor, one-time governor, uh, Shegoni, if he probably had stayed in one party, he maybe would have had a greater influence. You'd say, um, well, is well, it advisable, well, a good strategy to 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 still keep crisscrossing, you know, from party uh, A to party I will, B? I will agree with you to some extent. I will agree with you to some extent, but there are so many issues that arose to the movement that happened. It didn't just happen suddenly. That, that there are so many factors that are responsible for the movement we're talking about. But nonetheless, the most important thing in this wise is the equity people, is the delivery of governance, good governance to equity people. And that's exactly what we're looking at. Whether you're doing it in APC or in PDP or in ACC or DDD, but most, the most important thing is that what does equity people want at this time? And who do they want? And the answer is Chegoni in the lips of everybody. And that's exactly what's going to happen. All right. All right. We would like to pull the plugs at this time. Um, Yemi uh, Olayinka is uh, of a chieftain of the uh, People's Democratic Party in Ekiti State. Um, we've been extraying the issues around uh, the rejection of a uh, PDP governorship primary results by a leading contender in that primary and one-term governor of uh, Ekiti State, uh, Chief Shegoni. Uh, Mr. Emil Lanka, thank you very much for your time, and we will be surely getting back to you as the events unfold. If uh, Shegoni does that um, switch, like uh, we're speculating on you, probably hinting this morning, we will definitely get back to you to say you are a prophet. Maybe you should start a church, a church or a ministry. But thank you very much for your time.
Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Nigerians. God bless you all. Well, that's it there on uh, the AKT PDP crisis and what have you. But fingers across, we'll see how the event of things actually, you know, pan out. The issue of internal, you know, democracy and politics in political party would always be a major concern where you constantly have strong men who dictate who become what and get what at what but point. But isn't that what politics is about? I mean, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, I... I ask myself when people complain about politics being played in political parties I say, I say but that's politics it is politics that's why it's called politics so we shouldn't be complaining about politics no when you're in politics you play politics if 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 i'm in a political party i will want to control the party so so, so when you when you talk about politics, politics you know because the yeah. issue of politics like we always say is for me politics is interest and for every time you have your interest overriding another interest that's politics for me and so politics and democracy they can't you know that's it so can we have a time where politics and democracy would be in sync they're probably not just aligned, but just for the purpose, because democracy would say, let's have a fair playing ground. Let's give people I, the opportunity you know to run. You know what I think? And then politics will say, uh, you know, my interest, like you were already saying, you will have to. But we need to move away. You know what though. I think? I think you should climb a campaign stage and, <laughs> and do the talking. All right, we will be back and uh, we'll talk about the general admission matriculations board introducing new uh, subjects into their curriculum up next on The Breakfast.